Guys, 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 I'll make a map a joke, ready? But what the hell? In 1972, three people found in mad- Do you guys want me to explain this shit? You probably heard this about a thousand times. Here, I'll give you a quick summary. Marcel Mariyama, one of the co-founders of Madhouse, left the studio because he hated the practices and wanted more creative freedom in his shows. Then Mariyama left Madhouse to create MAPPA. Starting off, it was doing well, giving him creative freedom and producing shows like Kids in the Slope and Terror Resonant. But the same thing happened, so Mariyama gave the crown to Manabu Otsuka. He created another studio called M2 Studio, which made Pluto that had a six seven years of production and now we're here mappa one of the most popular studio among the anime fandom because of their decision to suck up all of the high proclaimed anime and it's starting to backfire with the situation that is happening with jujutsu kaisen season 2 animators are calling out mappa with their bad practices because that wasn't obvious beforehand animators like ichiki shishigami slash miso who is an amazing director and probably has the best action boards in anime hakuyu go who directed some of the best animated episodes hone hone slash shota shigetsugu who directed and storyboarded episode 1074 of one piece and a lot more episodes that was only finished one or two days before the production time is unheard of a recent show that had the same issue was bochi the rock to understand mappa's pipeline because Barely any MAPPA video talked about this. They just say MAPPA made Jutsu Kaisen and Tech on Titan, blah 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 blah. MAPPA has three production lines, but we're just gonna focus on the main two, which is the Yuichiro Hayashi team and the Seshimo team. Both teams' working conditions are bad, but the Seshimo team has it the worst. Hone Hone said that they only had four months to dish out Jutsu Kaisen Zero, and this Reddit comment summarized how bad the condition is for Jutsu Kaisen slash Chainsaw Man team. TLDR, the committee gave the team two years to produce Jutsu Kaisen Season 2, but what MAPPA or Otsuka and the higher ups did was picking up Chainsaw Man. That was a cool idea, right? Right? One of the most high acclaimed manga to date. But what Chainsaw Man did different is that MAPPA is a part of the production committee. This is what you call a passion project. Of course most anime are passion projects because animators are passionate, but that's beside the point. A project that the studio itself fund all the things and gets all the profit back to themselves. For example, Kyoan and Ufotable is always high up in the production committee and that's why their shows are always consistent and good, while also most of the time giving their team enough time to finish the anime. But what Otsuka did was actually seeking for the money. Otsuka didn't make Chainsaw Man so that the anime animators can express their passion and give them the time they need. No, Otsuka just want all the profits for himself because he knew that Chainsaw Man would do good for the most part. And also the director of Chainsaw Man, Ryu Nakayama, made it even harder for the staff because the amount of work that the animation directors had to do was a lot because Ryu Nakayama's vision made it that the show looked more uniform. While yes, it was pleasing to look at, it was also a very tedious task for the animators. And now that the committee is not going to extend the time for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2's production, episode 18 looked unfinished. All we hope that the team can brute force their way with these last five episodes. This is not even the first example of MAPPA abusing a show that had a good schedule. Another example, God of High School. Starting off, the show had a quite good schedule, but in the midst of the show airing, the Jujutsu Kaisen PV was released with the same director, Sung Hoo Park, and it was quite obvious that Jujutsu Kaisen was in production while God of High School was still being finished because the director himself didn't appear until episode 7. Usually, the series director directs or storyboards the first episode, like with Gozo for season 2 and Ryu Nakayama for Chainsaw Man. In the other side, the Hayashi team had a hard time adapting Attack on Titan only having 8 months to produce the first part of the final season of AOT. While over time the schedule got better for every part, it was still a struggle. I mean look at those eye bags, I could fit my- I shouldn't say that. And also the two shows that could have been a Hashi led project being Hell's Paradise and Vinland Saga Season 2. Vinland Saga still kind of sustained itself because it still had a dedicated team from Season 1, being led by the series director Shuhei Yabuta. But on the other hand, Hell's Paradise, it crashed. The first couple of episodes was still good, but after that it just hit the fan. Of course, most Sakugatards, I guess you can say that, didn't expect it to be like a Jujutsu Kaisen high quality action anime. Maybe more like a Dororo style with a bump of quality when it comes to the action because Hell's Paradise didn't have a dedicated team working on it. The last two episodes, the Attack on Titan team helped a bit, but it wasn't really enough. Now back to the tweets. Animators are still tweeting about this till today. While Miso and Hakyu Go are probably not a part of the production anymore, people like Kosuke Kato tweeting shit like this is honestly disheartening. And also with Okubo's tweet, which was... Yeah. It is terrible that these talented animators also don't call them MAPPA animators. They are freelancers. 
You fucking blood clot. Working on terrible deadlines and can't even polish their works. The team is only making the episodes finish so it can be on time. It's not to express their talent or creativity in these episodes. Episode 1 to 5 of season 2 was almost flawless. The hidden inventory arc was almost perfect. Of course some sacrifices had to be made, like with Arfimi of Mice episode being episode 4. He had to sacrifice the fluidity of the episode so that the art and drawing are always strong most of the time because Imai is a really good artist. And with the help of Yosuke Yajima's corrections, and if you want to use the low priority card, Episode 5, one of the best directed episodes, is low prioritized. It had minimal key animators, so with Gozo's storyboards, Ninuma and Yamazaki's corrections, it was a fucking masterpiece. While the Shibuya arc had its moments where it was rushed and unfinished, but some episodes were really really great looking, but it could have been better. Episode 17 probably wouldn't have existed if the schedule was good. I don't know who was the director slash storyboarder that was supposed to do this episode, but it was a miracle that this happened. Basically how season 2 worked, the person who was in charge of the episode like the director or storyboarder basically the producer for the episode they have to use their own connections and bring in talent for their episode i don't know if i can really say seshimo is helping because most of the core staff that was like the highlight animator for jutsu kaisen and chainsaw man kind of left the show for example free in episode 6 it was a combination of the episode director tori Uzawa, and the producer fukushi's connections nakamura was probably asked by fukushi and yoshihara was probably asked by Iwazawa. You, you get my point same thing why kosuke Kato is a main animator. Gozo and Kato has worked on quite a bit of shows like Freight Grand Order and Seven Deadly Sins. With the interview that Otsuka said he wants to have the same quality like Kyoto Animation and Ufotable in a short amount of time, it is absolute monkey brain. These studios have a reputation of taking care of their staff and giving them equal pay. Of course Ufotable had its own dramas. Shows like the Emiya Cooking Show thing was to train new talent in the studio and also for KyoAni they showcased their talent and trained them for some commercials but it was also supervised by some talented KyoAni staff. Another point is that variants and also very influential animators are only working on movies like Norio Matsumoto, Naoki Kobayashi and a lot more and the conditions are usually very good. Some veterans like Shinya Ohira that usually only work on special shows and movies can work on these normal episodes like One Piece and Pluto because in Pluto he has a good connection with Maso Mariyama. These animators are working on these special projects because they are probably fed up with the condition in the anime industry right now but young talent will be captivated to work on these high profile projects. Studio Mappa will probably not die down because they know that they can exploit these young talented animators to work on these shows and keep abusing that. Animators will always call out bad managing and bad payment but animators don't really care about money. Their main drive is their passion and looking at the final product that they made. If they care about money, they can work on the nearest kombini store where you can ha almost have the same pay but far far less work and far far less talent because they want to see themselves happy and the fans. Otsuko will still do this practices because it is making him a lot of money. If Mappa wants to do something about this, they have to change. If not, then the dream of becoming a well-respected studio with the fans and also the animators will be far far gone in their imagination. Arigatou.